So, I've covered a few contracts, I did the field tone tutorial, uh, however there's still so much more of that band that I want to dive into. I think they're super underrated with what they do with sound, like yeah, classic con is cool and the, the fieldy bass and everything, but uh, I really don't think people realize how groundbreaking they've been with pretty much every album uh, as far as sonically and production wise what they do. So today what I'm going to dive into is a tone that I've been kind of thinking about in the back of my mind for a few years that like I, I've i always been really into this uh, sort of super heavy pitch shifted growly sort of guitar tone that they have in songs like Coming Undone uh, and some of the songs from around then. So I thought I'd explore that tone next and it turned out it was a lot easier than I thought it would be to get something like that kind of sound. I know Coming Undone isn't that era, See You On The Other Side era is not seen as like Korn's golden years, but although I do love classic Korn, I think that album is so underrated and I really think they hit a peak of creativity and I can't believe it didn't catch on. I can't believe there's not more music that came after them that wasn't ripping off what they did. I, just, I guess Korn weren't cool anymore in 2005, but yeah, there's just so much groundbreaking stuff on their albums from around that time, so I really think it's worth diving into seeing, you know, what they were doing there to get the sounds that they were getting. So I'll show you the sound I've got. Um, like I said, it's mainly going for that coming undone guitar sound, but I'll play you a few other riffs. They do use it on songs like Hit Stay. Uh, I'll maybe try that, but this guitar isn't tuned down that low. Um, but I'll show you a few riffs to show you the sound I've got, and then we'll dive into how I achieved the sound. So here's the sound. I just love that sound. I think it's so heavy and so unusual. I can't believe people haven't ripped it off since. I can't believe music didn't, like heavy music didn't go down that path after Korn made such a groundbreaking album. But so that's the sound. Let's dive into the makings of it. So obviously the first thing is pitch shifting. The song coming undone is in drop D, which is a super high tuning for Korn, like as high as they ever went, I think. Um, but then it's pitch shifted down a whole octave which puts it in like the lowest tuning anyone's ever used pretty much. There's only a few bands like Loathe. I can't even think of anyone other than Loathe that goes that low. So that's what makes it sound so hefty is like that's lower than my sugar tuning, drop D an octave down. So I used this free pitch plugin that I recently got hold of and pitched it down an octave and left some of the dry signal in there and some of the wet. So you've got some of the original drop D sound and then some of the lower octave adding that crazy low distortion like without the pitch shifting it'll just sound like let's see it'll probably just sound like your average metal tone yep pretty much so it's, it's all in the pitch shifting that's the main key and like i said this is a free plugin if you have a if you use pedals an octave of pedal will do it you just need something where you can blend the signals and get some of the dry and some of the wet. It's just one octave down. I'll throw the links to all the plugins I'm using here in the description below. One other note with pitch shifting is that in my experience you always want to throw that, unless you're looking for some really really weird sound, you always want to throw the pitch shifter in the beginning of the signal chain. Because then the raw signal straight from the guitar is hitting the pitch shifter first and then it's processed through everything else. Because if it's processed through thing like through amps and stuff and then through the pitch shifter it'll just sound really digital because the last thing it's processed through is changing the signal whereas if the first thing changes the signal and then it runs through amps it'll still sound like a guitar because it's processed through a guitar amp so you know if i put this at the end you'll hear how weird it sounds at the end of the signal chain <laughs> It just doesn't sound right. Maybe for certain sounds you'd want to do that, but generally I would say putting the pitch shift at the beginning of the chain is a smart idea. The next actual move I did, although we've got this thing here, is I added a fuzz pedal. Clearly this is a fuzzy kind of sound. 
you want the fuzzy distortion um high harmonic kind of metallica sort of distortion is not what corn do they have the growly breaking up you know you can hear it breaking up rather than it being like <laughs> super metallica hissy high-end distortion it's this low <laughs> sorry for making weird noises but to get the point across you get it um so fuzz is perfect for that because it's distorting the low end and the reason that it still sounded kind of you know when i turned the pitch shifter off that it still sounded kind of just like a metal tone is because the fuzz when you're using a super low tuning and it's pitch shifted down the waves are slower so you can actually hear the waves breaking up with the fuzz if that makes sense the lower the sound gets the slower the wave is moving so you can hear it almost like a car engine so that's one of the you know the fuzz with the pitch together that is the key to this sound because you've got to pitch it down enough that the sound waves are super slow and then distort them so you've got that rumbly low distortion rather than some high tight metal distortion so i use this thing i recently got it it's a really 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 awesome fuzz plugin um nothing that special with the settings i pretty much just loaded it up and it sounded cool so i'll show you it without fuzz and with fuzz so that you can see uh just how important this element is to the sound <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the distortion. I don't know if that made sense about the sound waves, but it's a little audio lesson for you. You know, you want to hear the waves going up and down. That's how low corn gets. You want to just, the sound waves are just turning into a flappy mess. And it's great. And that's what always fascinated me about this tone and what made it so uh, difficult to achieve because you've got to really think outside the box and use the, the distortion in a way that you wouldn't usually because, you know, usually you just load, load up an amp or turn on an amp throw different types of distortion and play with the bass and treble and uh, you know you've really got to get this combination of the pitch and the fuzz just right for it to do that corn thing so then i added this amp this was free as well and it's just a clone of the little marshall 12 watt crappy amps but it, it's good it's just got that marshall sound and it was what this tone needed i don't know if corn used marshalls but it just you know the low end is there and the uh powerful mids and the kind of smoothed off treble so this amp pretty much everything is I turned the gain down because you got so much fuzz but other than that it was basically just load the amp up and it sounded good as a last move you don't even need this i'll show you it without barely makes a difference it just brought it a little more forward um so this thing is is kind of a guitar amp like you got cabinets and stuff um but i turned off the cab turned off the reverb turned off the preamp left the noise gate on because why not but all i'm actually using is this little tube screamer with no drive it's just boosting the signal a little and that was all it needed just to bring it just sounded a little too flat so that just brought the sound a little more forward made it a bit more shiny which you know see you on the other side is a very kind of pop sounding record so it needed that forward sound and it's really that simple. I haven't even done any EQing. If I was using this in a mix, then yeah, I would take it a little further with EQ and maybe a few other things that I'd play around with. But this sound and a lot of Korn's guitar sounds, turns out all you need is a solid pitch shifter. Nothing special. Like I said, that was a free one I used. Uh, something that sounds good fuzz-wise, that is hard with... Uh, plugins because a lot of fuzz plugins don't sound good but that one i used is awesome and i'll put it in the description and just just a decent metal amp like i said the one that i used was a free marshall clone you just need something that holds the tone together so yeah interesting for me at least because that was a tone that i've been pursuing for a long time and sometimes you just got to think outside the box so hope that was insightful for some of you thanks for watching